what's up guys? So we have the pleasure of training with Ben Pakulski today. Ben's gonna be putting us through a chest workout. Um, I wanted to bring you guys something a little different. You know, Pure Muscle Fitness, we have so much variety of equipment here and I know not everyone around the world has access to all these crazy cool machines. So I wanted to break it down to more basic exercises today and get Ben to show us, you know, the most optimal way to, you know, perform these exercises. <laughs> so we'll probably be doing uh, like a, a dumbbell press, maybe a Smith press, Smith machine and maybe a pec deck. Um, keep it basic so this is, these are you know techniques and things you guys can 100% apply to your training. Um, so on the way over here, I already had my pre HD Ultra. I've been using the Ultra lately. Um, I'm five weeks out from my next competition. And as I get closer to a competition, I tend to like back off the stimulants a little bit, but right now I'm still using the Ultra, but I will switch to Elite eventually. We're gonna get started. We're gonna locate Ben, Ben's over here. So we're gonna talk to him about the rundown. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited about, you know, this workout today. So precision, don't worry about how many, don't worry about working hard. We're yep. about doing it really well. Head back, head back, head back, good. Yep. And now wait, this is what I was telling you. So tilt the dumbbell that way. So like you're leading through with your thumb. Yep. It sounds like the thumb pushes first. Stretch back a little bit toward me, like tilt it. Yeah, there you go, from there, nice. So good. External, yeah, there you go, perfect, <sighs> perfect. On that stretch, lean back just a little bit. There you go. Oh my now gosh. drive your shoulders into the bench. Resist the urge to let your shoulders go forward. Good, there you go, finish buddy, you got it, come on. Keep riding through. I don't care if the reps get smaller, you keep pushing, let's go. Don't change the form. Don't change the form. Good, don't let the elbows drop down, come back. Let the hands drop back, just a little bit. There you go, go, there you go. Go again, I got you, I got you, come on. Drop it back. Nice, one more. Drive into that bench, squeeze this, push this, fucking break this, let's go. Nice. Oh my gosh. Yep. Wow, that's cool. So man, the strength is there, right? You can get strong easy. That's not the problem. It's learning how to do things in those weak positions of weakness. Yeah. Prevent through, injuries. Through that range, right? Yep. I'm laying on my back. So you're gonna have, my, have the dumbbell there. It's perfectly stacked. Yeah. If I do this, it's pulling me this way, right? Right. If I do this, it's pulling me that way. Yeah, yeah. So by having it pull me that way, the pecs are doing way more work. Causing them to work harder. Yeah, so if it goes yeah. this way, it's actually assisting. Right. So most guys, most guys things, are going there. Right? What is it? These little things are not up. Well, you're trying, yeah, you're trying to cheat. You don't know it. Right. So let's go over there. You got 60s. Head stays back the whole time. See how much you can get rid of that, that arch. So like crunch down a little bit. There you go. I feel awkward. Yeah. Really exaggerate that length. Stretch. There you go. Nice. Hell yeah. Get another contract through and squeeze like you're posing. Make sure everybody those striations right across the chest. Squeeze. Shove that bench. There you go. Flatten that out. There you go. Length, 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 length. Yep. Better stay high. Better try to help him hands back. Good, I got you, man. I got you. you. Grind through these. Keep going. Drop your elbows back a little bit. Hands back. There you go. Keep going. I don't care if the reps get shorter. You just keep going. Even if it's partials, keep going. That's it. Keep going. Yep. You're gonna fight through it. Drive into that bench. Drop the hands back toward me. There you go. Yeah, come on, buddy. Yo, at least three. Drop the hands back. Push the hands back into me. Push. Yep. Find that length. Find that length. Find that length. Go. Keep going. Keep going. You got partials. Keep going. Grind. It's all about the first inch. Contract. Same thing. Don't change it. Don't change it. Squeeze. Stop. Full stop. Driving back. Now put contract from there. Good. Do it again. Contract into the bench. Squeeze your back. Pause. Full stop. Full stop. Go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, that was a build up. So. Good. 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 Go. Fuck. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Good job. 
Well, down? it depends where it's happening in your spine. Okay. So if I'm here, it's yeah. lumbar. Yeah. So if I'm, it's thoracic. Okay, so you can keep chin down, yeah, locked so, down. Right, so I want my rib cage and my pelvis to be stacked, but I don't want to be, so if I, if I arch from the lumbar, yeah. then the, it's happening from here. So it's like I'm lifting up from here, so I don't want that. I want it to happen from my thoracic spine. So most body blows come in here in the thoracic spine. Yes. So if I extend this way, yes. my lower back, then my thoracic spine rounds, right? Because it has to compensate. So as I, if I round this way with my lower back, my thoracic spine has to go the other way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because the spine has to be, it has to be stacked. Yeah. So if I go here, then my thoracic spine all of a sudden has to go in the opposite direction. So I want to keep this neutral, so the rib cage stays down, neutral. but my chin is tucked, so it's there. So I'm trying to keep like a thoracic extension, not a lumbar extension. Does that make sense? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. But you're also lifting sternum a little bit. Well, yeah, but you want it to happen here, here not here. Not, nothing, okay, right. nothing in the lower portion. Right. It's all... So yes. again, but remember, everyone's different. So yeah. like his mechanics may be different than yours. Right. So like the orientation of your rib cage is, is a big difference. So yeah. if you lay down on the ground, his sternum may be, your sternum may be like this, his yeah. sternum may be like this. Right. Which means it's a completely different exercise. Yeah. Cody, come here for a minute. You got a tank top on? So see how that sternal angle is almost horizontal? Yes. So for him to use his pecs, like if he wants to use those lower, those lower pec fibers, like all this, yep. this needs to become in vertical alignment. So he has to then arch up massively, like arch up a lot. Put your feet up on the bench. Good. Now lift your butt in the air. Higher. Higher, like you're trying to go decline. All right, so, so see how that now, all those pec change fibers are angle. in vertical alignment? Yeah, it's all up. So he would have to do that, but you don't necessarily want to do it by doing this. You would just change the angle of the bench. The angle of the bench. Yeah, so that's how we think about this, well, right? He so looks like he is missing muscle here in comparison to other So, so here's an important, I don't know if you've ever seen me do this, but so if we follow his pec insertion out and we actually go, okay, there's the muscle, there's the muscle. You can see the top of the muscle is so lean, right? Yeah. So follow those in where they kind of meet on the, on the humerus, is the, just go like that. See how they kind of meet? You can find yeah. some imaginary points like right there. You can feel it's a tendon. Yeah. So if he's laying on a dumbbell and he's holding that dumbbell through his hand, make a fist. If he's pressing down here and that dumbbell is exerting force straight down, the, the muscles that are working the most are right here. So it's a straight line through that resistance, through his insertion, which is here, up through his pec. So on a flat bench press, is. if he's using this angle of press, that's what he's training the most of. Right. Right, so his front up. If he starts coming up here, now what is he working? Now it's also stretching through here. Exactly. So these tension. become movers and these become movers. Whereas if he wants to work this, he has to change the angle, drive the hips up again. Good. So now if he wants to press through, now that becomes, see how now these things are all prime movers in that position. Right, right. So now like that will be the greatest mover in that position. See how it's really nice in there? Yeah. So like he probably wow. does that a lot. That's cool. Right? And if we go fly, now he can actually do more of a decline and probably get all this. So man, if you want to build like that part of your pack, which is visually, that's the weakness, is that you need to do a decline fly. Okay. Yeah, because that's the only way you can access that. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Does that makes sense? Sweet. Yeah, yeah, thanks Ben. So that's, that's how I'm looking at you and going, well, your body's different than his. Yeah. So like, we're just trying to find to, the, the best position to advantage yeah, the specific yeah. part of the pack we're trying to work. I don't even know, let me take my throat, see what my packs are we. Yeah. yeah, so this is really good for your, like the majority of your packs. Like you're a guy who should build a great chest. Yeah. But to do, a, to do an incline, I'll do a decline today for sure. Go ahead, yeah. just go, do a couple reps. So where your pecs, your pecs are kind of um, faltering is you're trying to, as soon as you press, it's starting to come down here. So just right. be, be aware of like that. And if we want to work more lower chest, we just change the angle of the bench. Right. Yeah, which we should do today. Let's okay. do it. Yeah. Even if it's just this amount. I think we'd go on a fly or, or a press and do that. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So that is the chest workout today. I initially had plans to maybe do some arm training too, but that workout was very demanding for me. It was stuff that I've never done before. So I'm smoked. So we're going to call it a day. So thanks to Ben for putting us through this chest workout. I'm hoping you guys, you know, got a chance to learn a lot get some value from this video. You guys can apply it to your training. Um, and hopefully we can, you know, get back in the gym in the near future and uh, show you guys, you know, some cool techniques for arm training. Thanks for tuning in guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, anything you guys want to see. Until next time.